Hi, you guys. This is going to be a general overall current energy update for the sign of Sagittarius. Hi, my fellow Saggies. I am Sagittarius, um, Neptune, and Uranus. <laughs> um, it's really important to know everything that's in your guys' birth chart. So I highly suggest looking it up. There's apps you can download. Um, I use an app called CoStar. It gives me my birth chart. It also, um, but to get more in depth, it kind of just gives you the basics of your birth chart, which is totally fine if you just want to like check out Zodiac readings. Um, but anyways, let's just get started on your reading guys. Today, June 21st, 2020, 21. These are messages that I channeled for you guys for the collective of Sagittarius. Okay, the very first thing when I sat down, I heard, um, this is an old song that took me back to my high school days, like 20 years ago. Um, and it's, it's Nelly and Kelly Rowland. And it's, I don't even know the name of the song, but it goes something like this. It goes, um, I love you, Nelly, I need you, Nelly, I love you i do dun, dun, dun. okay so anyways and it, it talks about it goes even when i'm with my boo all i think about is you anyways i am not a singer you guys by any means okay i'm a psychic tarot reader that's what i do but that's the song that i heard and what that is significant for is um the feeling that I get, Sag, is that you guys are dealing with someone who there could possibly be a third party involved. If there is a third party that you've been dealing with, your person that you're connected to, it's done. It's done because there's no comparison to you. Okay. The other message that I'm getting here is that just someone is just very crazy about you. They just feel you, just everything about you. They just, they, they, they crave you. They adore you. They admire you. They, it, it's like, all they think about is you. Okay. So that song is significant. Maybe it's a song you love. I don't know. The dates that it came through for me is October 16th, November 11th. So it's 1111, which is new beginnings. Okay. 1111 is a master number, angel number, and it means new beginnings. So November 11th, October 23rd and November 16th. Okay. Um, Mickey Mouse came through. So maybe you're planning a trip to Disneyland. Maybe you really love Mickey Mouse or Disney. Um, so maybe that will, you know, I know a lot of people do, but this is coming through specifically for you guys. So someone in the Sagittarius collective or cross watcher really likes Mickey Mouse. Okay. Um, then I saw a beach ball, like people at the beach and it was like a beach ball. Like, you know how like you like hit the ball and you don't let it hit the ground and you have to like keep, you know what I mean? Kind of like volleyball, but not really. It's with a beach ball instead. So maybe you're planning a trip to the beach. Um, maybe you meet this person at the beach or what I really feel truly honestly is it's, just, it's this energy of free, uh, freedom and having fun and just enjoying each other or just enjoying life right now in general, Sag. Um, so that's what I'm feeling. You're just, you're in a happy place, um, or you're coming into a more happy place. Let's say that. Um, and then I, the candy milk duds came through. Um, and that is one of my favorite candies, especially when I go to the movie theaters, I have to have cherry Coke and milk duds. It's my thing. Um, and popcorn, of course, there's nothing better than movie theater popcorn. Um, but I feel like someone is very sweet on you, you know, and milk duds are a candy where you have to let them kind of melt in your mouth. Okay. They're a hard caramel chocolate chew. Essentially they're they They are chewy, right? But some of them, sometimes they're a little hard. So you have to soften them a little bit and then, you know, then you get the goodness and then you can eat them and enjoy them and let them kind of melt. I feel like Sag, that is what you have done to somebody. You have completely melted a milk dud, essentially, energetically. You've melted someone who is a little tough, a little hard, um, but they're sweet on you too. They're, you guys are sweet on each other. But Sag, um, they're the one singing you the song. They're the one singing you the song. They're the one that is like, 
you know, I all I think about is you, you know, look the song up. I don't know what it's called. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. It's by Nelly and Kelly Rowland, and it literally came out when I was in high school. So I don't know, 2000, uh, 2000, two, 2001, 2002 maybe, two, 2000. I think it came out when I was in high school. Sorry guys, let me just let my kitties out. Go on, go on kitty kitty, yeah, okay. Sorry guys, as you watch my channel, you'll see that um, I have kitties and doggies and they like to, they're very active in my life. So those are the messages I have channeled for you. Let's get right into some messages just for you, Sag, just for you. What's going on for you personally before we get into the love part of it, okay? Wow, this food, you know what guys, I have to be honest. This doesn't feel right. I'm putting it back in. It says your commitment is being tested. I don't, that wasn't for you. That That's not for you. I can feel it. My intuition tells me. For Sagittarius, for the collection of Sagittarius, please. Here we go. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. A new start is coming. Nothing is yet set in stone. The mutable moon. Okay, Sag. So what we have here with this mutable moon, even though this is supposed to be just for you, you're in a connection with someone energetically or you are in a connection with someone. You're connected to someone um, that they have not spoken their truth to you yet. And then you have a new start is coming. It's a new moon. Like... A new moon is a new beginning. What it is here is, first of all, Sagittarius, let's just talk about you for a second, okay? Because that's what this whole portion of the reading is for. You are, yeah, courtship. <laughs> See, there's a strong love connection here. There's a strong like love soulmate connection or something going on here. And it, it wants to keep coming through, even though I'm trying to just concentrate on you right now. Um, yeah, false person. Uh, I just said Leo's reading. So you could be, you know, involved with the Leo or Leo energy could be like significant to you in some way. Um, but this came out in their reading too. A new start is coming. A new start is coming with a false person. And what's happening here, and this is happening a lot in my readings and just collectively. And as you watch other tarot readers, you're going to see this. People who have not been speaking up about their feelings in the past. See those waves? the the waves that this person has caused in your life by just not speaking their truth it's it's caused a lot for you okay and what's coming through very strongly sag is courtship someone is desiring courtship they want to court you okay a new start is coming someone wants a new beginning they want an or or, or a beginning they want a start but they've been false in the past here not being honest they weren't speaking their truth then right after that you have the message i'm taking this as well because it goes seven eight see you literally got seven and eight and i shuffle the shit out of my decks you guys before my readings so for these to like come in order and together like this is insane they definitely go together so sagittarius there's going to be a message from someone who has not been completely honest with you about some things they're coming through, okay? And it's going to be a new start in some way for you, okay? Um, you've been closing out cycles here. You are ready for new beginnings. You're ready for newness in your life. You're done with stagnancy. You're done with being in the same place. Now, for the rest of you guys, like just, or I shouldn't say for the rest of you, for all of you, um, literally right as I said that finances and career fell out of the deck in my um, romance deck I was just gonna say for a lot of you this is a personal message just for you guys you're dealing in your work environment or what you do for work or whatever you have you've been dealing consistently with false people fake people people who are just not honest they're fake they're um, I don't know. I don't want to say brown nosers, but like, that's kind of the energy I'm getting. It's like, you see the real things happening in your work environment or with people 
And for some reason, it's frustrating to you because no one else is seeing it. Okay. But what I'm getting here, clear as day, Sag, is that people are starting to see this person's actions or these people's actions or their way of doing things. Okay. They're starting to catch on. They're starting to see finances and career. It, for me, this goes hand in hand, these two false people and the finances and career. Okay. So that's a side note. Okay. So for you guys, a new start is coming Sagittarius, whether it be in, in your career, in love and whatever it is, there is a connection here, strong coming through of someone who wants to court you, someone who has not been open and forthcoming with their emotions. It's caused a lot of waves. Now that if this is someone that you are in a relationship with, they just, the communication hasn't been great and it's starting to get better. Okay. That's for a few of you. That's it. For the most, for the most part, for most of you, um, you are not in a connection with this person yet. Okay. And I emphasize the word yet because this person is coming in to speak their truth. All right. So let's get to the love part of it. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry, guys. Let me, let me just pull an oracle card just for you, just for you before the love. <sighs> for Sagittarius, what do you want to say for Sagittarius universe? What are the messages? Oh, two flew out at once. <gasps> what did I say? It's a divine masculine, a man. It's either you or someone you're dealing with here. Okay. It could be this person for some of you that you were in a connection with where I was talking about the communication. And then it came out with the lily, okay, which says establish ambition, experience, sexuality, achievement. Yeah, what it is is achievement, longevity, mature, career. See, it literally says career. A lot of you guys are, you guys are dealing with fake pe people like on the daily in your job, in your career. It is super annoying. And it's like you have these thoughts constantly of like, how can no one see this? How can no one see how fake they are? How can my boss not see how fake they are? How can my coworker? It's that energy. You see it, but now people are starting to see it. That's what I'm saying. Development, retired. Development, someone here, masculine energy, okay? If you're here watching tarot and you're here watching love readings, or just general tarot readings, whatever. You are the more, um, now you don't have, to, you you can literally be a man, a total whiskey drinking, whiskey sipping, wood chopping man, okay? But you have a more feminine energy in the sense that you're open to this kind of stuff. Tarot readings and love and all that, right? You see this connection for what it is and someone else doesn't. Anyways, that's just coming through. But I feel like for the most, you guys are watching this, the feminine energy, whether you're man or woman, okay? This is the person you're dealing with right here. That's what it feels like, okay? And this person here is wanting to establish some things with you, okay? And just for your side note, you know, you guys are on the brink of a lot of new beginnings, new cycles, new starts. Um, for me, this is yes, yes, yes. So Sagittarius, I think this came out in one of your guys' readings like not too long ago. Um, it's a yes card. So if you're thinking of doing stuff, do it. Literally do it. And right as I say that, okay, right as I say that, these two cards fly out together. Never mind this one right here. Let's talk about this. This is a culmination of efforts. It says, yes, the time has come. What was I just saying, you guys? I was just saying that. That, yes, this is a yes card for me. Yes, if you're thinking about doing stuff, yes, do it. Take a leap, do it. Fulfillment, completion, abundance, fruits of your labor, focus on your needs, harvest, moving on. Yeah. You guys are going in, you guys are in this energy right now with your careers, with, with things where you're, you're kicking ass, you're kicking ass and taking names. You've been planting seeds. You've been building on things. And now things are really starting to happen. Things are starting to come to fruition. And on top of that, 
talk about seeds being planted. There's someone here. Hmm, maybe could it be this person right here, this masculine energy that I'm feeling that wants to come in here and they want to make um, a pact, an agreement, a partnership, trust, alliance. You could be going into a partnership in business, but this is someone who wants to come in and commit to you. They want commitment here. All right, let's get into the tarot, see what the tarot has to say about this love. Now we're going to move to the love portion, okay? We're already 15 minutes in, but hey, messages channeled out or messages channeled out, right? All right, Yassi. Okay. Someone is hoping and praying that you're not going to block them out. Why would they be hoping and praying that? Clearly, she's, she's, she's hold herself back. She's held herself back. She has herself in a bubble. She's protecting her energy. She's in peace and comfort and um, serenity in this moment. See all these wands trying to come at her? It's like interference with her zen, her, her peace. Someone is afraid that it's too late. Someone's afraid of being blocked out. Probably because, like I said, they were false in the past. They weren't forthcoming. Now there's like a pressure I'm feeling. The message. Someone is intending to send a message about courtship. And they're praying they don't get blocked and rejected. Tell us about... <laughs> I didn't even have a chance. The tower. This is divine intervention. This is the universe coming in. It's change. It's, 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 it's a lot of change happening here. Okay. See the little squirrel all comfortable in his little squirrel den. And then the lightning strikes and all this chaos happens. And the squirrel is like, what is happening to my house right now? It's change. This person has been going through a tower moment. They've been, it's like their whole world is kind of falling apart because they just don't know what to do. It's like they are scrambling. There's this energy of like, it's just, I don't know what to do. It feels like their world is just like falling down around them. Okay. This literally fell out of the deck and flew onto my foot. It landed on my foot. I have my legs crossed right now. Like a true proper woman should. This is victory, it's clarity, it's truth. Aha. Someone is coming in to speak their truth to you, Sagittarius. Someone who held back in the past. See, this is also a card of holding back, resisting. Okay. They resisted and now it, it backfired. It kind of backfired in a sense, but this truth, this truth that's coming in, this communication, it's going to change everything. It's going to change everything. See the rings? 25 breaks down to seven. Seven is all about luck. You have the seven of wands, seven, seven. You have luck on your side here, Sagittarius. And look, the message, what card number is that? Seven. This message that comes in is a message of luck. It's something that you've been hoping and praying for, Sag. It is. It's something you've been hoping and praying for. And you feel like you win when this comes in. Okay? You. It's almost like you know this person. Um, yeah. They've been hoping. Exactly. Exactly. See, every time I speak, the universe backs me up. It's, I was, what I was saying was, it's as, as, as if this person was holding back their emotions and they were thinking just with their head and not their heart. Head over heart is the king of wands. He's stoic as hell. He is um, very okay with just being single, being alone, you know, not necessarily just being single, but he, he's happy just like in his element, on his own, like doing his thing. Could be someone a little bit older than you, maybe. I'm just picking that up with the gray hair, but this guy is clearly not old by any means or older. Like he's a young, hot dude, but he has just like grayish hair, right? This is the Ace of Pentacles right here. 
this is a big fat offer. It's long term. What the king has been thinking about, he's been cold with his heart, but he's been thinking nonstop about this Ace of Pentacles. How he wants to get, make this offer. Okay. How he wants to make this offer. This, this person right here is that person right there. Okay. Um, he's also that person right there holding it in the mask. Okay. That's you, Sag. Whether you're a woman or a man, it doesn't matter. That's you. Okay. You saw it. They didn't. They had a mask on. They were thinking with their head, not their heart. Now they're ready. They want to plant this seed. Looks like it was already planted though, right? Doesn't it look like he pulled it up from the ground to like replant it somewhere else? I did speak of a third party in the beginning. Someone could literally have been like, I don't want it here. I want to put it here. Maybe that's what they've been thinking about. Either way, Sagittarius, there's someone here who is ready to make a very stable, long-term, committed offer to you in love. Now, this could, the pentacles could be work, right? But we're, just, I'm speaking specifically of love right now. But for a lot of you guys, I just, I have to say this. There are big things coming. You've been planting your seeds. Like I said, you've been working on things with your work, with your business. You could be an entrepreneur. Things are starting to happen now. Okay. Like there's something that's going to come in, a message or some kind of communication that is going to really ignite something within your career. Okay. But let me get back to the love part of it. That's just for some of you, right? This is the love part. Someone is thinking long-term, big time, long-term commitment. What is Sagittarius's person? What is it? Six of Swords. Yep. Did I not say the Emperor earlier? There he is with his chest piece. He's thinking his next move. This masculine has done a lot of thinking. He's probably done a lot of thinking while, you know, sipped in his whiskey, you know, being all stoic and, and, and manly and, and masculine not thinking with his heart. That's all three of these guys right here. None of them think with their heart. They think with their head. Maybe not this guy, but these two for sure. <laughs> the King of Swords and the Emperor. They are warriors, especially the Emperor. He's a god of war. King of Swords. I mean, he is, he's a badass. He's the only king in the whole tarot deck that has weapon. Same with his queen. There's something here very soulmate. Very, um, I can feel it. It feels like a past life connection here. And I know that I it might be a little far-fetched to say, but the reason why I'm getting this is um, this crow. I've seen this card a thousand times, right? But just right now, in this moment, for me, and the, this bat, like pterodactyl, whatever the hell it is, a bat thing. Bats are all about rebirth, okay? Rebirth. It's coming out of the cave, out of the darkness. This person right here, they had a, they had a, a, a sh dark night of the soul. They went through a shadow period. They went through a death of the ego, okay? This man right here is very egotistical. This man right here is very egotistical. This, this masculine energy. It's... I don't even think they mean to be that way. It's just the way they are, right? But something happened here where it changed them. And now they want this like investment. They want this long-term commitment because they met someone who is, they've got their stuff together. Look at her. Can I just show you guys? See him all single with his crow? And look at her all single with her. What is that? A dove? or something. She's all dressed in white. She's pure and innocent and beautiful and earthy. And, um, she's successful. She's confident. She's totally happy on her own. She doesn't need anybody. And he sees that. See him looking at her. Do you see him the way he's looking at her? Do you see the way his crow is looking at black and white? It's like the dark and the light. She's the light. She's in white. He's not. But look at, see how he's got a white shirt? 
he does have the light. It's like he forgot. He got so covered in darkness and pain and thoughts from the past. He forgot about the light. Crows are a good omen. Crows are magic. Crows follow magical people. This masculine is very magical. He's highly intuitive, highly, highly intelligent. A lot of wisdom here. And so is she. He sees it. This is yin and yang, light and dark. Right? You can't have one without the other. And when I say dark, I don't mean it in a bad way. It's not dark like evil. It's just darker energy. She's light and airy and free and like, ah, and he's like serious and like, well, let's talk about this. Let's, let's, let's figure all this out first. You know, let's, let's, let's talk about this. Let's, let's put together a plan of action, a game plan, if you will. He's literally holding a game piece on a check or a chessboard. The emperor takes action and what they're taking action towards is moving something forward here more crows. Crows are in this deck, the swords, thoughts, thoughts, deep thought, this one, all three of these masculine energies that I'm feeling. Now you guys, there could be multiple masculines coming in to court you. You could have options here, Sag. You're on fire, honeys. You guys are on fire, but there's forward movement here in life, in love. This person wants to move things forward with you. Sorry, spirit, <laughs> spirit. My, my intuition's like, to, oh, I knew it, I fucking knew it. Look, they said, look at the bottom of the deck right now before you pick up the other deck. So I look at the bottom of the deck and I, I shouldn't say they, it's me, it's my intuition, right? But it's my guides, it's the universe, my angels. There's someone here who's tamed their inner beast, okay? And they're finding their lion's heart, their courageous heart in love. King of Wands is very passionate. He's a go-getter. He's very driven. Very driven. All these masculine energies right here, okay? They're go-getters. All of them. They don't mess around. When they want something, they have their eye on the prize. They get it. Someone carries a huge flaming torch for you, Sagittarius. Feel, this person never spoke up. They never said it. Now they're coming in to do it. They're coming in to say it. They're coming in to take action. Passionate action at that. Okay. So let's see what comes out in the Oracle. Oh, you know what? Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to take this king of wands. Yeah, look. Right, right behind the magician. You, you make this person feel like it, you're everything they want. They feel like they have everything they want. So now they are manifesting this, 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 this communication, this message. They want to show you their true self. They don't want to be false anymore. It's a waste of time to be false. They want to court you. Nothing is yet set in stone. The mutable moon from the very beginning. Someone was silent and now they're not. They want to talk. A new start is coming. Sorry, guys, if you can see my funky hair and everything. I don't know what you can see, but I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like I need to look underneath the magician. Exactly. Someone's working on something here. They're focused. They're driven. They're focused on you, Sagittarius. What they're focused on is destiny. It's fate. It's a new cycle. The wheel is turning in your favor, Sagittarius. And that's what this person is working on. They want, they want to come in and they want to come in bold and big and passionately. Um, feels like they're tempering themselves. Uh, yeah, because they have a lot of passion, a lot of um, lust. This is lust. He's literally like, hey, baby, come with me. This is Capricorn energy, devil energy, um, which just means that they're very, they're, they're used to being in control of things. Um, I feel like this person has been in their head a lot, a lot, a lot. Look at that size of that crow. That indicates thought over his head right now. Major in their thought, self-sabotage. It's like mental entrapment, but they're breaking free of all that energy, okay? 
It's because they have a big offer that they want to bring in. They've met their perfect match, the Queen of Pentacles. They want long-term commitment, stability. You have the Queen of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, which is the same kind of energy for me, except leveled up here with the queen she's got her offer you know what that tells me you guys is that this person that you're dealing with they do it that pentacle right there they give it to you it's long-term commitment marriage financial stability it's all the things tell me about sagittarius's connection what's coming in for sagittarius the death card and then you have the child Bottom of the deck is the moon, okay? A full moon. You have the new moon. A new start is coming. A full moon. We have a full moon in Capricorn coming up here. We just had the devil come out. Capricorn energy right at the end. Perfect. This, this full moon in Capricorn is, you guys look it up, but it's like really amazing stuff that the energy is bringing in. Plus we have all this like other planetary stuff happening. Bottom line is there is something about to begin. Something is like a cycle here is ending and the cycle that's ending is silence and thought. No more silence and thinking and, and, and self-sabotage and mental crap. No more being false and fake. This person is ready to come in and court you for, for is stability. They're ready to take action, not just think about it, but, but act on it. Emperor, he takes action too. New beginnings right here. Innocent, brand new, creativity, spontaneous, carefree, inexperienced, tender, new perspective. You've given this person, Sagittarius, a new perspective on love, on a lot of things. You've taught them some things. They've learned some lessons here too. But you know what the lesson is? The lesson that they learned, this is the wheel of fortune. It turns in our favor when we start learning lessons and we complete lessons that the universe wants us to learn. It's fate. It's karma. It's destiny. It's all the things. This person is learning to not be so in their head and in, in themselves. They're learning to open up. That's the lesson here is to not be hidden and keep things secret. It's 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 following your intuition. It's it's going after romance and fantasy. It's affection. It's an invitation. You might literally get an invitation here from this person to go out and talk or meet up or go on a date. This is the divine feminine. We have the emperor here which is divine masculine. Okay? He came out. Recognition. They want to they want to give you the recognition you deserve. Sagittarius, sensuality. You have the death card here. The death card is all the same stuff. It's romance. It's intuition. It's what lies beneath. It's the waist down, lower extremities. It's what's being hidden, just like the moon energy. It's what lies beneath the surface. It's about what is about to come out into the open. It's very under the surface and it's about to pop right up over the surface. This, with the death card, it's transformation, okay? It's a complete renewal of something, a transformation. I told you, this person has transformed, they've learned lessons, and now they are coming in correct. They're coming in passionately. They are a little possessive over you, not in a bad way. They just feel like they want, they know they want you to be theirs and all theirs. They find you extremely sexy. They find this connection very deep. You could be psychic or they could be psychic or you guys just have a telepathic psychic connection because you're soulmates. Your souls know each other. Someone is very focused here and determined. I just want to get one more and we're going to wrap this up. Oh. Or three more. You have the Empress. You have the element of earth. This is practicality. It's getting grounded. Not being so up in your head and your thoughts, but actually bringing things down into the 3D. Something you could actually feel and hold. It's, it's what it is, is it's someone coming in and saying, hey, I know I didn't tell you before, but I am in love with you or I feel very deeply for you and I'm ready to invest in this. I want long-term. I want to 
lay some roots down here with you. And I want to build something strong and long lasting with you because you're the empress. Now we have divine counterparts. We have the emperor and the empress. This is a match made in heaven. I told you it's fate and destiny. She is light. She's the receiver. I told you she, someone is coming in to make moves because they didn't before. They're making moves for her. They're ready to invest. They want a relationship. It says grace, charm, beauty, love, art. Some of you could be very artistic. You could be painters or any 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 kind of beautiful, creative, anything, gardening, whatever it is. You could be a chef. You could love cooking. You're very creative, okay? And it really turns this person on. It really turns them on. They love your creativity. Magnetism. They're drawn to you. Abundance, pleasure, happiness. This is a new cycle beginning here with the Wheel of Fortune. It's abundance. I told you abundance, financial abundance, love, marriage, long-term everything. It's all the things. The Empress is also a new cycle beginning. It's fertility. She's the divine feminine. You have the moon on the bottom of the deck, the divine feminine. You're very much in your divine feminine power, whoever's watching this, okay? Or your person is, whatever. But I feel like it's you watching this. Everything is just kind of coming to you now. Why? Like I said earlier, you planted your seeds. You've been planting your seeds in career, home life, spirituality, whatever it is. Now beautiful things are coming to fruition for you, okay? I just kind of wrote a little book in this in this reading for you, okay? Any really great reader, right? It's the beginning of the reading will usually tie up with the end of the reading, just like a book when you write a book. The beginning always ties up to the end or the beginning of a movie, the ending always, it, it ties it all together. This is tying it all together here, okay? This is tying it all together. It's the seeds that are gonna start blossoming and there's things being planted and there's new beginnings here beautiful new beginnings on the horizon, Sag. All right, my loves, I hope that this connected with you. If it did in any way, shape or form, please like this video, um, subscribe to this channel. I thank you so, so, so much, my loves, for supporting me on YouTube and just for being here and, um, and for sharing this experience with me. Um, if you're interested in booking a personal live reading with me, you can find my email below in the, in the, description box, excuse me. Um, and we'll get you set up. I would love to meet any of you guys. Um, do it like via video. And, um, if you don't live close, obviously, and, um, that's it, you guys. So subscribe, hit the notification bell. So you get all the notifications when I upload new content, new videos. Um, if this did not resonate with you for some reason, it's totally fine. Um, just check your other signs in your chart, your moon, your rising, all that. So I'm sending you guys all the love and light. Mwah. Good night, Sag. I'll see you guys soon.